Living in the city, they have many restrictions on what one may or may not have on display on one's own property. Some restrictions are about safety, but many are rules for aesthetics. Sure, one may apply for a permit to install a tower which would hold a large turbine, but the city can always turn that down. I have had many conversations over the years with friends and customers about home power, and I have learned there are some HOAs that won't even allow solar panels because it would mess up the aesthetics of the neighborhood. The attitude is the same for wind turbines. This is of course why my focus is on small Vox or vertical axis wind turbines. I've heard it said more times than I can count, if I could only get power from my roof turbine ventilators, they wouldn't say a word. Of course we know that if a roof vent would work for that, it wouldn't create much power because it doesn't have the torque to turn much of a generator. That's not what it's built to do. That's where my little turbine has the torque to turn a small generator at low wind speed, but it can't get the RPM for the higher voltage output. This is why I intend to install multiple turbines, 6, 8, or 10, depending on the average output of the turbine generator combination. This is the reason for the apples to apples comparison. I was just a wee bit disappointed that the boxes were open before I got it. Uh, I, I tend to like to open my own gifts to myself, but I can tell that they are new parts. Uh, the rectifier was in a box that's marked that it has two rectifiers, but I only needed one rectifier with my Freedom PMG, so that's what I got. Missouri Wind and Solar is good about that. If you buy the PMG, you get the rectifier with it, whereas with uh, Wind Blue, the external rectifier has to be purchased separately. I believe we can call this non-cogging, but uh, it doesn't take much effort to turn it, so I don't think it's going to be a big problem for my turbine. Look at that, that's impressive. A lot of power with very little RPM. steel shaft, non-magnetic so it doesn't interfere with the bearings, and I like that very much. And the thing I had showed you a little bit ago where this is not magnetic, this one is, it's very magnetic. This would interfere with the bearings. This would uh, actually cause the bearings to bind, which slowed it down. So the stainless steel shaft is a very good idea. I like that a lot. The downside 
the only one I've seen so far on the Missouri is this is 17 millimeter this is 5 8 this is actually a 1.5 millimeter cut into a 5 8 diameter shaft which means Whatever this nut is, I, I believe, I don't know for sure yet, I've got to check it. I believe that is a 16 millimeter nut with 1.5 millimeter uh, pitch threads. And when you screw that onto that, there's a lot of wobble. It wobbles. And if you're using this to to hold tight uh, a turbine, you really don't want that kind of wobble. You hear it? That's how loose that is. The only gripe I have is the thread size, thread pitch. It's been a few days since I received my uh, PMG from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, and uh, I like it a lot, but I do have issues. But it's taken me a couple days to make the nut. The nut takes up the entire length of the shaft, and that makes helps the uh, shaft be rigid. And I've got set screws in there, and we've got the uh, had to cut threads to match. Uh, and that just goes on just like that. And the turbine always turns to the right, so I don't have to worry about it backing off. Eventually, if I have to change the thing, I'll have to find some way to hold the the rotor while I spin that back off. But that's. Really like the sloppy fit, but that's just the way it is. And see if I can line that up with the way I machined it. Just like that. I wonder why I don't make, I intend to make eight of these things to put on my uh, building, or actually ten. Six on my roof, two on each side of the building. You might wonder why I don't make all ten nuts at the same time. But it seems that every single rotor seems to be a little bit different. The Missouri uses a 5 8 diameter shaft, well, it's, it's 17 millimeter here, 5 8 millimeter here, and a 1.5 millimeter thread. So you're using a metric thread on a standard sized shaft. Wind Blue uses the 17 millimeter here, 5 8 here, and 5 8 18 pitch here. And in the original Wind Blue rotor, it's 17 millimeter here, 17 millimeter here, 1.25 millimeter pitch threads. Uh, so I've got to make them one at a time.
complete. Yep. You may have to set a set screw. That's wiggling loose too easy. Or I found also if these wires even get close, this thing will not turn. This is a, a heck of a break. I guess the next part of the project is going to be mounting a base on this bad boy. So, what the base will consist of. Something like this. And then help to drill holes to weld this together. Make some spacers. Drill some holes. Mount it. And then we'll get to put the uh, put the turbine on it and see what it does. Looking forward to that. Okay, got the base put together. I painted it, uh, not so much to well to prevent the rust, but also to hide my terrible welding job. It's not a welder. <laughs> 